more British airmen interviewed here with Lord Sempill, who is standing next to the microphone, have been rescued from the deadly perils of the time or sea. Here is Gilroy, the wireless operator, next to the backer of the flight, then Wood, the pilot, and on the other side of Lord Sempill, Mr. Davis. Starting from Port Darwin in an attempt to establish a new record from Australia to England, they suddenly stopped giving out wireless messages, while still over the shark-infested waters which form the most dangerous part of the Australia flight. For three days there was no news, while ships and aeroplanes sought the missing men or the wreckage of their plane among the reefs and islands. At last they were sighted and picked up by a native fishing vessel and then transferred to a London steamer bound for Durban. We offer congratulations to these plucky aviators on a return from almost certain death.